Welcome back. American Beauty is the story of a man who longs to have an affair with a high school girl, which is not to be confused with American Pie, in which a high school boy has an affair with a dessert. <laughs> if I did that movie, look what you did to the kogel! <laughs> and here are three young stars of American Beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Wes Bentley, Mina Savari, and Thora Birch. <laughs> Ricky Fitz, the character I play in American Beauty, spends a lot of his time looking through a camera. He films everything, dead birds, plastic bags, and Jane, the girl next door. In other words, Ricky will someday make an amazing documentary short subject. Until he does, here are the nominees for best documentary short subject. Eyewitness, Bert Van Borg. King Gimp, Susan Hannah Hadari, and William A. Whiteford. The Wildest Show in the South, The Angola Prison Rodeo, Simeon Sofer and Jonathan Staff. And the Oscar goes to... Suzanne Hannah Hadari and William A. Whiteford for King Gimp. Susanna Hannah Hadari and William A. Whiteford documented the life of artist Dan Keplinger, who wrote and narrated his own story. This is the first Oscar for Hadari and Whiteford. We have followed Dan Keflinger for 45, 45 years, for 13 years. We're not that old. Like 13 years, an amazing um, spirit in a body that society may not have included. But tonight, he is included and he's honored as an artist. And we thank the Academy and for, for giving him this honor. And we thank Sheila Nevins at HBO for transforming the world of documentaries and for nurturing us and giving us wings, and in exchange we give her King Gimp. We thank the University of Maryland where we work. <laughs> we thank Nancy Walzog and HBO. My friends and family, I'm here because of you tonight. <laughs> Linda, <laughs> super mom who made Dan's independence possible, and Dan's spirit that touches us all in his writing and his art, who inspired Michael Bacon's music and the sensitive editing of Jeff Bartz, our Baltimore crew, and love the sassy baby. Wow. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you. She was Oscar nominated for her heart-stopping performance in Pulp Fiction. And he is a noted actor and novelist. Please welcome Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawke. Sports, music, and politics are the subjects of this year's nominated documentary features. They're all remarkable and gripping films made without the use of a single actor. Don't give them any ideas. The nominees are... Buena Vista Social Club, Bin Vendors and Hewitt Feldman, Genghis Blues, Roko Belich and Adrian Belich, On the Ropes, Nanette Burstein and Brett Morgan. 
One day in September, Arthur Cohn and Kevin MacDonald, speaking in strings, Paola de Florio and Lilibet Foster. And the Oscar goes to One Day in September, Arthur Cohn and Kevin MacDonald. This is the third Oscar in this category for Arthur Cohn and a first nomination for Kevin MacDonald. Dear friends at the Academy, first of all, I would like to say that this Oscar goes to the terrific team which made One Day in September, headed by Kevin MacDonald, John Batzek, uh, <coughs> Justine Wright, uh, <coughs> Lillian Birnbaum, and above all, last not least, Michael Douglas. I want you to know that in contrast to all the films you are honoring tonight, this film, which took two years and four months in the making, was only completed in October. Consequently, the film One Day in September hasn't been released, released anywhere in the world. And as a result, with this Oscar, you, members of the Academy, have given a terrific sign to members of all the world of the filmmakers that the Academy and its Dutchman is not basing itself at all and is not influenced by box office success, but it is harping and insisting only on the outstanding quality of a film which can be remembered for a long time. Thank you so much for this.